You had several heel tag matches against the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. So the Dream Team. So I'm glad you mentioned that. These guys were heels and so were, so were we, right? We wrestled them in Anaheim, California, right next to the stadium here in Anaheim. Nice venue. It was Volkov and Sheik against the Dream Team. And we were the baby faces, of course, you know. Turned out being a hell of a match, and we sold the place out, and we came back again, what, six weeks later, and sold it out again. It, it was funny, funny stuff. It was funny stuff. <laughs> Nik Nikolai had a hold of me, and so the Sheik's coming and running with a big knee, right? And I moved out of the way, and so did Nikolai, and she goes right through the ropes to take his own bump. That was like, what a funny spot. We both took out, and she goes out head over heels. But it was it was goofy match, but the people loved it, and they loved us. We could have had a run as baby face. You know, the dream team could have. Was that yeah. ever a consideration? Maybe, but they end up turning Brutus, the barber, into a big-time baby face, so. And I had a little run as a baby, but not much. So. They probably could have stretched this out a lot longer, right? Well, when they won the titles back from us in Chicago with Ozzy Osbourne and all that stuff, Captain Lou Albano, we were told, and a lot of times they would tell you that stuff so you don't mind dropping the title, but we were told we were going to get another run at it. And... We didn't get another, we, we didn't get a, I don't know what happened. I wanted to know when we were going to get the belts back. Now we're going all over the place wrestling the Bulldogs and we're still selling out with them. But we're putting them over at the same time. So it's like our swan song, we're going around, return match, and then, then we're getting beat. You know, how many more times can you do that? So, so me and Brutus, I, I said, Brutai, let's go up there and let's make, a, let's make an appointment with Vince McMahon and find out when we're going to get these belts back. And um, George Scott was still the booker then. and So I went in and had a meeting with Vince, and Vince kind of side, sidebarred the thing, and then he, he brought out this check and th threw it in front of us and, and Brutus, and he goes, that's your first royalty check on on your figures, you know, and that just threw off. Now, what do you want to talk about? Oh, we want to know when we're going to get the belts back. Go, well, right now I'm going to make a round robin out of it. A round robin means you're going to round it out. To So what they were going to do is put it on Volkov and, and Sheik, and I think they ended up doing that. Or it was a heart pound, I don't know. Uh, but whatever, we didn't get a chance to get the belts back. We had big... We sold out everywhere we went, return matches, and then, you know, then it was then it was over, and and uh, and then uh, I went on my own. But it, it worked out good for me too. I had a thing to run with Ronnie Garvin and the Shin Guard, and actually, you know, I remember Morocco got fired, and and I was supposed to do a thing with Morocco because I, you know, I. I attacked superstar Billy Graham out in uh, Oakland, Oakland Coliseum. And me and Morocco were set to have a good run. And I put the figure four on superstar. And so it was some good heat there. And then Morocco ended up getting fired in Europe. And so did the Bulldogs and everything. So, and Junkyard Dog. I was the only one that still had a job. So I went to Vince and I go, what am I going to do? And he goes, well, let's let's try to uh, let's do something on your figure four. And that's when we came up with that shin guard thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was good. Then I ended up doing it with Ronnie Garvin. And so I had a good good angle going with Garvin. Yeah. And I love Ronnie Garvin. Yeah. Yeah. The hands of stone. Yeah. They were, they, he was stiff. We had the stiffest matches, I think ever but loved it you know i like working that way just don't smash me and knock my teeth out you know probably the best match on that royal rumble too that 1991. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people they go the match was too i've heard different 
uh, reviews on that match saying the match was too stiff for 92 and the guys were going into a different era then, but I don't believe that. I think, I think the match was great, but whatever. Yeah. I know it was good. <laughs>